Hi students, welcome back. This class is the continuation of the previous one, that is yesterday's class. Yesterday, we had discussed some very important questions from time and work chapter. So, today's is the continuation of that one. We have already sent all the questions in the telegram channel or else you can just take the question from here and we are going to give all the questions in the description also. Those students who have not joined the telegram channel can join by clicking the link which is given in the description. And one more very important thing students, today the questions which we are going to discuss are very very important and helpful for all competitive exams like uh, IBPS exams, SBI, LIC, AOs, uh, RBI grade B officer, CSAT, NABAD exam and many many more exams where quantitative aptitude is part of that one. Okay, right. Now let's start this one. Now I'm not going to touch the basics. Already I've discussed all the basics in my regular courses. These questions are moderate to advanced level questions. See the question here how they have given A can do 40% of a work in 12 days whereas B can do 60% of the same work in 15 days. The comparison here. What's the difference between this question and regular or normal questions? In regular or normal questions, generally they give A's capacity in days directly, B's capacity also in days directly. But now they have given in terms of percentages. Already we have discussed this concept of percentages in the first class of percentages only where I have discussed the unitary method. We may use that one now. Now we will convert that one into the regular format. But after that, before conversion, what exactly they have given in continuation? Both work together for 10 days. Then C completes the remaining work in 4 days, alone in 4 days. Then finally question is A, B and C together will complete only part of the work. How much part? 28% of the whole work in how many days is the question. See students, I told you previously also, every time I have been telling you the same thing, while reading the question only, you should get the blueprint of solution in your mind. Only then you can uh, go for speed and accuracy in the examination, right? Anyway, let's go for this one. How they have given, A can do 40% of the work. I'm writing here, you say, 40% of the work in 12 days. To compare A and B on common platform, I need 100% capacity of A and B. So for that reason, when 40% is done in 12 days, 100% is done how many days? Unitary method, I told you in the first session of percentages, right? So now, you can do it in many ways, 100 by 40 into like 12 you can do or directly you can do from here itself. What is that? Just go take this one in two table. This is two twos and two fives, simple. Okay, now here 2, how many times you will get 12? 6 times. So similarly here 5 into 6, uh, you will get that one as 30. Hope all of you understood this one. Alright, so or else directly you can do in this way. 40% is 12. One more 40% is another 12, 12 plus 12, 24. Then after that 10% is 6, you will get it as 30. That's up to you. Okay, one thing is done. Now I'm taking this out. Okay, fine. So here A's capacity is... Uh, a can do the work in 30 days. One thing is clear. Now go for B here. What about B here? B can do 60% in 15 days. Now you can, you should do it orally also. Or you can do it orally. What is that one? 60%. 60% in how many days? 15 days. Then 100% in how many days? Actually, this is the rough work for you. Right? As it is, you go for this one. Anyway, percentage, percentage, cancel. Take again the two table. Two, threes, two, fives. 3 how many times 15 here? 3 fives. Similarly, 5 into here, 5, 25. Got it. Right? So now, B can do the same work in 25 days. Now you can compare A and B on the common platform. Right? Just, I'm taking the rough work here. It's not required now. Now, A and B together worked for how many days they have given? 10 days. Now you take this one, same LCM method here. 30 and 25, take the LCM, LCM is 150, okay. Now, A's capacity is, uh, that means one day's work, uh, total work is uh, 150 units. We did it tested, all right. So now here, A's capacity in one day is 150 by 30, that is 5 units, simple. 
now b's capacity is uh, 6 units 150 by 25 6 units right in one day then after that uh, the collective work of a and b is uh, 11 units per day then they have given they work for 10 days 10 days means uh, how much work is completed here 11 units per day into 10 days uh, 110 units of work has been completed then c comes into picture so how they have given c finish the remaining work in uh, 4 days now how to take it further remaining work remaining work is uh, 150 minus this is 110 remaining work is uh, 40 units this 40 units have been completed by c in uh, 4 days now you can get c's capacity one day's capacity that is 40 by 4 10 units is uh, c's one day's capacity now students here question is uh, a, B, C together will complete 28% of the work in how many days is the question. It's not in the other way like uh, what we have done yesterday. The question is a little different here. How to take it now? Simply A's capacity 5 units per day, B 6 units and C's capacity is 10 units. Now altogether this is 21 units of work can be completed by A, B and C in one day. Now, total work is 150. Now, they are asking only for 28% of the work. How to take this one? Simple, you see. This is 150 units. I am writing here. All right. You take that one. 150 units of work. Right. Ah. Now, 150 divided by, divided by collective capacity is 21. But I need only 28% of the work. So, just take 28% uh, of this one, that's it, 28 by 100. You can go for simplification, how you go, you just go for that one. This is uh, 52 times 50, 3 times, this is 7 and this is 4. Anyway, simplification is up to you, you will get 2. So, my final answer is to do 28% of the total work, by A, B and C together, it takes uh, two days is the final answer. How simple this one students here. What did you understand from this? The first thing is we have completely avoided the fractions. The second thing is that most of the solution can be done mentally also. You can write a little part on the paper so that you can maintain speed and uh, accuracy. Hope you must have understood this one, right? So, you apply this type of methods in any competitive exam, you will get the purpose. Take up the next question, students. See, this question is uh, one of the very, very important questions for various competitive exams. Uh, because first time I have seen this type of questions almost uh, 18 years ago. At that time, they used to give this type of questions in SSE, uh, uh, all stop selection commission exams. After that, gradually they have been giving this type of questions in SSE's uh, Tire 1 examination, C, uh, CGL exam. Even now, they are using this type of questions in many, many competitive exams. Now, listen very carefully and focus on that one, students. First, before doing this question, pause the video and take uh, one minute time for this one. Alright, a beginner can do this one. Beginner in the sense, if you have a little amount of practice, uh, you can do this one in one to one and a half minute. If you practice well, you can do this type of questions also within 30 to 40 seconds, right? By following the LCM method. Okay, now let's go for this one. First pause it, do it by yourself. Then after that, resume the video. How they have given A and B together can do a piece of work in 30 days. A and B's capacity they have given. Then after that, uh, B and C together do it in 20 days. B and C's capacity simple to understand. Then after that, uh, A starts the work and works on it for 5 days. The hidden meaning of the, this one is only A started the work, not B and C. Then after that, what they have given? A completed. A starts the work and works on it for 5 days. Then B takes up. The very, very important connecting word is uh, then here. What do you mean by this connecting word here? See, the very meaning of uh, then is uh, A had stopped here. Very important. Remember, 
right? So first A worked for five days, then B takes up. That means A stopped, B started the work. He worked it for 15 days. Then after that, finally, finally means A and B both quit the work. Finally, C finished the remaining work. He took it up and finished in 18 days. Now the question is, in how many days C alone can do the whole work? One thing you observe very carefully, when C alone can do the whole work means you should know first of all what is the individual capacity of C. You just focus your mind there. Now we will start the question as it is with LCM method, how they have given A and B together can do, now I am writing here, A and B together can do the work in 30 days, then B and C's capacity they have given 20 days, that's it. Okay, then after that uh, A start the work, we will go back to that one. But before this, uh, just take the LCM uh, of this one. What's the LCM here? This is 30 and 20, take the highest number, 30 once, 30, 30, 2, 60, 60 goes in 20. So directly 60 is the LCM. And 60 units of work, uh, the complete work. Now, A plus B is uh, one day's capacity is uh, 60 by 30, that is 2 units. Now, B plus C's one day's capacity is uh, 60 by 20, that is 3 units. Okay, but here, 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 that comes into picture. What is this one? Very, very important thing comes into picture here. Oh, I just explained you very clearly how they have given... First, A worked for 5 days. You take one equation like this, 5 day work of A plus, plus means after that A left. B takes up and works for 15 days. 15 day work of B plus 18 day work of C is equal to total work. This is very, very important step. Most of the students do not know how to frame this one. If you understand the keywords, then and finally, only then you will be able to do this one. Is equal to the total work. What's the total work we have taken here? 60 units, that's all. Now, my intention is to find out how many days C alone can do this one. Now, to go for this one, isolate C here. Now, just change the equation in this way. 5A, 15B they have given. My intention is to club A and B together, B and C together and bring C isolated. For that one, simply you take this one as a 5A, 5 day work of A plus you take from 15, 5 day work of B you take. And remaining days are 10 days for B. So 10 day work of B plus 10 day work of C plus then out of 18, 10 has gone here, 8 day work of C is equal to 60. Most important one, you make a note of this. Why I did in this way? Keep the question in your mind. What is that C alone I need to find out? To find out C alone, I should know C's capacity. So to get C's capacity, take the help of these two. In this way, you can isolate C. Now, very simply, if you take this one, 5 day work of A and B. Now, you see, I am going to neutralize these two. Hope you must have got the idea, right? Plus, plus, if you take 10 common here, 10 day work of B and C, plus 8 day work of C is equal to 60. Then you can easily solve the equation. So, here, very simply, A and B's one day's work is 2 units, 2 into 5, it will become 10. Then here, B plus C is 3 units, 3 into 10, that is 30, 30 plus 10, it is 40. Now, very clearly, 8C plus 40 is equal to 60, or you go directly here, you can do directly here. Anyway, this is 40. You take this 40, that side here, that will become 20. 60 minus 40, 20. Now, 8C is equal to 20. Now, C alone can do 20 by 8 part of the work every day. That is each day per day. So, just simplify this one. This is 4, 5 times and 4, 2 times. Now, you will get 2.5 units of work 
per day. This one. Now my question. Successfully, I have isolated this one and got a C's one day's capacity. Now the question is, C alone can do the whole work in how many days? Now my whole work is 60 units. C's capacity is 2.5 units per day. Now clearly 60 by 2.5 unit. 2.5 means I am just taking this one out. I take this uh, uh, point, take out this point and directly I am doing this one. 60 by 25, add one C. Right? So this is 25, 2 is 50. Alright, you got to go for 25, 2 is 50 and 25, 4 is 100. Simple. Finally, my answer is C alone can do the work in 24 days. So 24 days, I am getting in option number C. See students, I spent almost 7 to 8 minutes to explain this one. Deliberately, I have done this one because nowadays in most of the competitive exams, they are giving time and work questions based on this logic. And based on this logic, in very latest examinations, what they are doing, they are not even giving the numbers also. Instead of numbers, they are giving variables. Sometimes they give X, Y. With the help of variables, you, are, you need to solve the questions nowadays. To do that type of advanced questions, uh, without this moderate basic, moderate uh, level of understanding, you cannot do this one. Right? Anyway, finally, answer is 24. Now, let us close the session here. But before going, before closing this one, students, further, I am going to give some more questions to you today, which are going to be solved tomorrow. Tomorrow, I will give you explanation for today's questions. And uh, one more thing, students, very soon, I think uh, one or two days, we are going to start the live sessions also for reasoning and uh, quanta. And uh, if everything goes fine, I am going to take a newspaper analysis also particularly focusing on a Hindu paper editorial analysis. In a fantastic way, you will get this. So my request is uh, to share this information with uh, all your circles so that hundreds of thousands of students will be benefited. Thank you very much, students.